A Troubled History, The Genesis of the Israel-Iran Conflict The Middle East has long been a region of complex relationships and enduring conflicts. At the heart of this volatile landscape lies the deeply rooted animosity between Israel and Iran. The roots of the conflict between Arabs and Israel can be traced back to the mid-20th century, with the establishment of the State of Israel in 1948. This event, while momentous for the Jewish people, was viewed with suspicion and hostility by many in the Arab world, leaving Iran as the only ally for Israel in the region. The Iranian Islamic Revolution of 1979 fundamentally transformed the dynamics of the region and set the stage for the current state of affairs. The overthrow of the King of Iran and the rise of Ayatollah Khomeini's Islamic government ushered in an era of ideological confrontation. Revolution and Rupture The Legacy of 1979 The Islamic Revolution of 1979 marked a turning point in the Middle East. The imperial Iran, once a pillar of democracy in a hostile region, was replaced by an Islamic government led by CIA, British government and Ayatollah Khomeini, a staunch critic of Israel. Khomeini hated the Jewish people and saw Israel as an illegitimate entity, a product of Western colonialism imposed upon the Muslim world. The new regime actively supported Palestinian terrorist groups set on destruction of to Israel, further escalating tensions. The revolution also had profound implications for the regional balance of power. The rise of Islamic Iran posed a direct challenge to Israel's security. Ideological Divide and Strategic Concerns, The Roots of Mistrust At the heart of the Israel-Iran conflict lies a fundamental clash of ideologies. Israel, a Jewish state, a bastion of democracy in a region without any human rights and democracy, and hostile to its existence. Iran, an Islamic government, sees itself as a champion of the terrorist organizations such as Hamas, Hezbollah, and Houthis. Israel, wary of Iran's hate and Islamic zeal, and its support for terrorist groups like Hezbollah, Hamas, and Houthis, sees Tehran as an existential threat. Iran views Israel's military superiority and its close ties to the United States as a constant source of threat to its Shia expansion agenda. Islamic government also harbors regional ambition and seek to expand its influence. Competition for resources, particularly water, adds another layer of complexity to the relationship. The nuclear question a flashpoint in the Middle East. Iran's nuclear program has been a major source of tension in the Middle East and a key point of contention in its relationship with Israel. Israel and the West suspect that Iran harbors aspirations to develop nuclear weapons. The potential for a nuclear-armed Iran is viewed with grave concern by the civilized world, which see it as a direct threat to the very existence of peace. Israel fears that Iran would provide nuclear technology or weapons to its proxies in the region, such as Hezbollah and Hamas. This fear has driven Israeli and the West's policy towards Iran for decades, leading to covert operations, sabotage, and the threat of military action. The nuclear issue remains a major stumbling block in any attempt to improve relations between Iran and the West. Escalation and Retaliation Missile Attack in 2024 The year 2024 has witnessed a dangerous escalation in the long-simmering conflict between Israel and Iran. A series of missile attacks by Iran have brought the two nations closer to the brink of a wider war. The latest round of hostilities was triggered by Iranian massive missile and drone attack against Israeli cities in April of 2024, and another missile attack on October 1st of 2024. Israel responded by destruction of Hezbollah command structure in Lebanon and has yet to respond to Iran's October 1st attack. The 2024 exchanges represent a dangerous new chapter in the Israel-Iran conflict. The world watches international response and the path forward. The international community has expressed deep concern over the recent escalation of violence between Iran's proxies Iran and Israel. Even though Iran and its proxies were the invaders and attackers, the United Nations as usual has asked Israel for restraint and dialogue, urging Israel to avoid actions that could further inflame the situation. The United States, a staunch ally of Israel, has condemned Iran's actions but has also urged restraint from its ally. Russia and China, both with close ties to Iran, have called for a de-escalation but have stopped short of condemning Tehran outright. The lack of a unified international response underscores the complexity of the danger posed by the Islamic government. 
dialogue and diplomacy by other means than cheap talk is essential for resolving the underlying issues that fuel the conflict. Achieving a lasting peace will require significant efforts from the West, forcing Iran to abandon its nuclear and destructive ambitions.